they will walk up to me and grab my hand and put their phone numbers in my hand and say, Robert, you got the better body. <laughs> Your covers sell the best. I'm hearing people telling me, don't flex, just walk across the floor. I flex anyway. You flex anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then the process of on comes in the room, down with the blacks. Hmm. And he kept blacking this and black. I was the only, I started looking around. I'm the only black in, <laughs> I'm the only black in the room. I think that Ravi's going to be the great black hope. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen seventy-five mm -hmm. is the year that Pumping Iron is about to take bodybuilding to the whole world audience, mm -hmm. and Arnold is the star of Pumping Iron. But Robbie is in the gym training. Yet they tell Robbie, "Hey, Robbie, don't flex. Don't flex, Robbie. You might make Arnold look bad." <laughs> I flex anyway. You flex anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, 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 it was just a time period. I just wasn't used to that. You know, you, you know, I'm, I'm have this position where I'm actually in a movie and I'm hearing people telling me, don't flex, just walk across the floor. I flex anyway. Uh, it caused a lot of bad feelings and stuff to the whole movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I said things like uh, that maybe in a sense at that point, being black, you're not supposed to say, but I said it anyway. Mm -hmm. And I thought, why not have a voice? You know, I'm a part of this whole thing. I have to say something. I have to voice my own opinion. And um, they didn't like that. Uh-oh. You know, what can you say? I can't even see the guy. He's too little. <laughs> I, hear, I hear this voice, but I don't see nothing. What do hey, you say, all right. Paul? No, the seven the side. Side. Oh, man. Just leave this. Right hey, on, and look on. at that, another mouse in the background. Hey, what is that? Hey, I got a hundred dollars on Paul Grant. Oh, 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 Wait until South Africa and Batavia and we'll all know who's the best. Hey, yeah, yeah, but wouldn't you, say, wouldn't you say that Ravi has to go, uh, go first through you and oh, Ken yeah. Warner to get to me? No. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. No. I mean, how can you make the fifth step of the ladder this when you didn't make it first? Oh, I'm already with I think that Ravi is going to be the great black hope. <laughs> At the same time, when we went to the first film of the Pump and Iron was in San Jose, California. Yes. Uh, we had this competition, the Russ Warner Classic. Yes. Russ Warner Classic invited all the guys there to guest pose, you know, at that competition. That was filmed uh, by Pump and Iron. Mm -hmm. So everybody's on stage is screaming and hollering. Arnold was posing. He came and I would think I was the last one brought the house down. I People saw were that. screaming and hollering and calling my name. I had never experienced anything like that, mm -hmm. you know. So you hear all these people that stand there, and I've seen 95, 99% of them were white males and females that were screaming and hollering my name. There were very few persons of color in that audience. Yes. So to hear them calling my name and screaming my name, that to me was like, wow, it was an awakening. You must have a cold-blooded physique because you can't see yourself in your mind sometimes yes to someone else react to you but having all these people react to me and you know, clap and call my name and yeah cheer me on while i'm up there posing i was static about so all that me. was like a validation that yeah your yeah. body is the body yeah exactly it's being recognized exactly and uh and that's in the opening know, scenes i, I, of I don't the like to get into that color and race thing but yes. it was huge yes uh they was they were saying to me that where did he get that body from? I have to say this. That n got a white boy's body. I said, awesome. <laughs> that sucks. Because <laughs> I didn't have any concept of all of what was going on and what kind of body I had. You know, it was only recognized when I would go to the, when I went to the Wheeler's office 
and would be in the weeder's office in the art department. But he said all his art people were women, mm -hmm. and they would walk up to me and grab my hand and put their phone numbers in my hand and say, "Robert, you got the better body. <laughs> Your cover sell the best." <laughs> and so that, I mean, I'm getting goosebumps here talking to you about it. Chills because of the fact that they inspired me. They gave me the belief. They helped me believe in myself. Yes. Really. But I Joe mean, never, Joe never told you, "Hey, no, Robbie, you sell no, magazines. No, 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 no. You were those, getting it from the ladies." Those ladies that were in that office built my confidence. They gave me the ability to go back in that gym every day and kill it. And each time I went out there and would see them, or uh, wherever they are, even today, I think to myself, wherever they are in the world today, God bless them. Yeah. Because they definitely built my confidence. They gave me all the desire, pumped my desires and my <laughs> my mindset to just. You can get better and get better and get better. You just got to keep focusing on what. Don't pay attention to all that other negative stuff. Yes. Because I didn't. If I had it, I would not be here. Man, sometimes that's all you need. Just one little push. You don't know where it's going to come from, but that one little push, somebody believing in you, and it's going to take you forward. Oh, take, oh, that's yeah. all you need. That's all you need. It's, it's, you know, as I, we was talking earlier, it's, that, it's who you have in your corner. Yes. It's the people that say the good things to you instead of that's right. block all that negative stuff out. Listen to the good things that people say about you. That's right. And that's what I was able to do. Seriously. That's <clears> awesome. <throat> so, Pumping Iron, I, I'm quoting from the book because I've read it a bunch of times. Uh, that uh, contest you did in San Jose was included in the documentary. It opened up with that, actually, and you looked amazing. And I heard the cheers. And then... I didn't see you much throughout the movie because I see a little outtake when they filmed it in Arnold's house and everybody started to drink and have good time. The, the director of the movie said, well, you know, guys, nobody's getting paid. They, and that didn't sit well with you. They took me out of it. They tried to not involve me in it or not call my name to appear in it because of the fact that I was still in the scenes from him. I yes. wasn't still in the, um, because people wanted to see my physique. Yes. I mean, nothing wrong with he was such time as Olympia. So I said to myself, he deserved that right. Mm -hmm. I didn't try to block it or say anything. And it uh, all came down in San Jose when we was in the, after the competition was over and all the, everybody was at having a big party and everything. Mm -hmm. We was all in there dancing. And, you know, you know, here's a, here's, I'm a black guy. You know, you're not, dancing with no white women. Mm -hmm. Nobody could even think that would even be possible. Mm -hmm. And then they was filming all of this. And then the process of on comes in the room down with the blacks. Hmm. And he kept blacking this and black. I was the only, I started looking around. I'm the only black, <laughs> I'm the only black in the room. So I just walked out, went to my hotel room, went to sleep. Wow. And I, I remember hearing Joe Weider say, Arnold, Arnold, stop that. Stopped and as he was saying it, I was already walking out of the room. Wow. But you know that you know it didn't it didn't anger me. It empowered yeah. me. See in my culture if someone used those derogatory names to after it breaks them down. He it never yeah. broke me down. You know you it made me stronger. You turned it into something positive. Positive, yeah. Because you are yeah. huge on mindset. It's all about positive It's mindset. Mindset. If you let anything crack this, you're done. Yes. You know, you got to be more powerful than anything that can happen to you. And you made it productive. Yeah. You, you went to train harder. Yeah, you have to make, yeah, you, you have to look at it that way and get yourself be consumed by what is positive instead of what is negative. I've never been able to do that. Even when I was playing football and sports and everything like that, even when I went to the army and I definitely wanted to go AWOL or desert, go, really, really, I yes. didn't want to go to Vietnam and fight the war. Why yes. am I going to? fight people that I don't even know anything. They have done anything to me. Yes. That's what I was saying to myself. But then I just thought, you know, suck it up. Yeah. And I got into the training and the hard work. Mm -hmm. Won Soldier of the Month five times. I mean, it's just turning things around. Of course. That's what I've always done, been able to turn it around. Whatever negative I confronted with, I would might get pissed off and get upset about it. But then it, this is, it's just something would come over me and just chill out. Yeah. You know? You get lemons, you make lemonade. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's very important to take the good and the bad. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You, life is not going to always be good to you. Oh no. Yeah, you have oh, no. to take those bad moments. Absolutely. <clears throat> so I got to be honest, one thing that actually got me into body, I love bodybuilding. Like, I am a huge bodybuilding fan. It's like, I've been following it for a long time and uh, 
I love all the stories and all the knowledge that I've got and all the friendships that I've created. One thing that got me into bodybuilding is pumping iron. Yet, pumping I iron? Yeah. Yeah. Yet, I did not know that this was not a real movie. It was a docudrama. It was scripted. It was made for Arnold. And then, as I started to dive deeper and learn about all the other people involved in the documentary, like mm -hmm. you, like Serge Nubray, and few others, mm -hmm. I've been fascinated by everybody involved in this movie. And uh, I know that this movie is only 85 minutes long, but there is 100 plus hours of footage. Like, I would love to see some footage of you training back then, even other people involved in the movie. But I know that uh, Arnold bought uh, all that footage, so it's somewhere <laughs> stored. Mm -hmm. But I would love to see everybody from the golden era shown how they looked and how they trained oh yeah because that would be it was awesome. amazing and awesome you know, that time that we spent in the gym preparing for that night of days that was a calendar on the wall and each day you went in that gym a day was removed and you observed that and you put all your time and energy into that diligently right down to that peak week yes and you worked and grinded yourself you worked on those poses every day people not believe it bodybuilding is is is, is stressful to the body Yes. It also has a certain amount of destruction to the body. So eating healthy, I mean, having a positive frame of mind, taking supplementation, you have to use all of these things. That's what, everything is timing. Absolutely. Timing with supplementation, timing with the rest, timing with the food, timing with the training. So everything has to be on the time clock. And the better you get that whole system down on the time clock, the better results you get.